All right, so for the stoichiometry practice paper, uh, the first reaction where we've got lithium sulfide reacting with aluminum nitride, these are the answers for those three questions with the proper sig figs and everything. So I think sometimes it's helpful if you have the answer and you can kind of work towards that and see how you're doing. For the next reaction, with hydrogen and chlorine making hydrochloric acid. Hydrogen and chlorine are gases, so we can involve the leader here. And so we have these two answers. And then for the last, on the back side, the copper and silver sulfate reaction, we have these two answers. And for question two, again, there's the two different ways that you can write the answer. Either one is fine. Then there's the dashed line, and the next question is talking about the limiting reactant and stuff. Don't worry about that, because we're going to be doing that later. So pause the video, or stop the video, whatever, and try and get those answers. If you're not getting those answers, come back, and I'm going to give some hints and show how to do some of them. All right, so the first question here, how many moles of lithium nitride can be made from 321 moles of lithium sulfide? This is a mole-mole problem. The easiest way to tell is because we've got moles in there twice. So the only thing I need to solve this problem is a mole ratio. So my lithium sulfide and then the ratio is 2 to 3. Lithium nitride on top because that's what I'm trying to find out about lithium sulfide on the bottom because that's what I'm canceling out and changing. So 642 divided by 3 and that's how we get the 300 sorry 214 moles of lithium nitride. The second and third problems are mass mass problems. Why? Okay again because I have how many grams of lithium sulfide are needed to produce 754 grams of aluminum sulfide. And so this is our you know, long drawn out problem where I have to go periodic table, mole ratio, periodic table. And so this is what it looks like using dimensional analysis. I've got the 754 grams of aluminum sulfide and then on the periodic table aluminum is 27.0 so there's two of those and sulfur is 32.1 and there's three of those so added up properly is 150.3 for the molar mass. The mole ratio is 3 to 1 the lithium sulfide on top aluminum sulfide on the bottom again that comes from the reaction 3 in front of the lithium sulfide and then a 1 in front of the aluminum sulfide. And then the last molar mass, lithium, is 6.9. Two of those plus a 32.1 for sulfur, that's how I got 45.9. And then with the sig figs proper, you get 690.8 grams. Now if you did the short version, then again you would start with the known piece of information. 754 grams of aluminum sulfide and then on the bottom of the mega ratio I guess you'd have 150.3 times 1. On the top you would have the 3 times the 45.9. Okay so you can kind of see all the shortcut does is get rid of the one mole things and kind of smushes them together. But either way you should get 690.8. For the second reaction, again, the first question is a mole-mole problem, so you're just using the mole ratio, changing from chlorine to hydrochloric acid using the 2 to 1 mole ratio. Now for the second question, how many liters? Okay, liters is our new found information. That's where we're going to use 22.4. So if I have the 55 and a half moles of hydrochloric acid, the mole ratio is 2 to 1 to figure out hydrogen. And then the last step is our, our new fact, 22.4 liters in a mole of hydrogen gas. 
And so that's how I got the 621.6 liters. So here I have a ma another mass mass problem. How many grams of copper are needed to produce 156 grams of silver? And so here is the shortcut version I have set up. So I've got 156 grams of silver. And then, so on the bottom I have the silver information. And there is a 2 for the mole ratio times 107.9 from the periodic table. And then for copper, a 1 and 63.5 on the periodic table. And so again, you can multiply across the top and the bottom and then divide. And that's how I got the 45.9 grams of copper. The next question asks about atoms. And so whenever we see atoms or molecules, we know that we've got Avogadro in the house. And so it's just like the leader's question, except we end with the Avogadro fact. And so here you see I have 388 moles of the silver sulfate. It's a 2 to 1 ratio, silver sulfate, and changing to silver. And then the last step is the fact that one mole of silver is 6.02 e to the 23rd atoms. Ones are on the bottom, so 388 times 2 times Avogadro, and that's how I got that answer. All right. I hope that helped. And again, the mass-mass problem is the most important one. That's what we're going to be having a quick check on here. So whether you do the dimensional analysis way, which is how I showed you back on the first page, this way right here, or if you do the shorty way, which is how I just showed you here, find the way that works best for you, and hopefully we'll get them all right. All righty. Later.